Hello my friends, welcome to another stream. Welcome, my name is Schmidt Wild, and today we're gonna be playing Half-Life Opposing Force. Technically, the first DLC for the, the Half-Life game, the original one. Uh, I played Blue Shift first. Technically, Blue Shift was released uh, later, uh, after Opposing Force. But since it was more similar to Half-Life, I figured I might play that one first. Because opposing force is very different, uh, both in uh, the well, the gameplay is pretty much the same, but the the weapons that we use are pretty similar, and we actually play the game from the perspective of the military this time. So it should be a nice change of pace. Uh, should be interesting to see the story from another point of view. Uh, Blue Shift was more like a another story set parallel to the first game. This one will also be like that, but more focused, like more similar to the first game story-wise, where we can actually see what happened on the first game, but on the other side, you know. So it should be an interesting choice of a. Uh, it should be an interesting playthrough, hopefully. Uh, without further ado, let's start with the game. As always, as you guys already know, we're gonna start with the uh, the training missions. Did it work? Yes, it did. Uh, my webcam is blocking this part, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna play on medium difficulty, and. Uh, Yeah, let's start the training room. Pause inside, ladies! Who's My that? name is Senior Drill Instructor Dwight T. Barnes. The first and last words I want to hear out of your stinking holes is, Sir, do I make myself clear? Sir, yes, sir! My goal is simple. As of right now, you are all maggots. You will not speak until spoken to. You will not sleep unless told to do so. When I ask you to jump, you will reply with how high. Do you get me? Sir, sure, yes, sir. What's your name, dirtbag? Adrian Shepard, sir. Sound off like you got a pair. Sir, Adrian Shepard, Corporal Shepard, huh? Looks more like Corporal Dog Meat to me. Seems your name was mysteriously bumped to the top of the advanced training list. My suggestion to you is to get your ass down to the training center and report to Drill Instructor Sharp ASAP. Now move it, Corporal. Where are you from, soldier? Texas? Holy cow! You know what comes from Texas, don't you? You eyeballing me, boy? You had better square yourself away, maggot! I smell smoke, and where there's smoke, there's fire! You better move it, soldier! Okay, let's... let's go. Add the drill instructor. This is very similar to the layout here. It's very similar to Full Metal Jacket. I wonder if there's any relation here. smoking in this area. Oh, well, look at that. The G, man. It's kinda hard to see, but... He's there. He's there. One, two, three, four! Am I in the you right... call that a push up all the way down? Am I in the right place? You had better square yourself away, maggot. Advanced training facility. 
What is your major malfunction, numbnuts? What is that? What the fuck is that? Hello. I'm sorry, Corporal. This is a restricted area. What about here? This is a restricted area, soldier. So let's go in the middle one. Authorized personnel only. Apparently, I'm not authorized. All right, maggot, listen up. I don't care what your previous outfit was like, oh, but around here we do things my way. I'm sorry, the timer Follow my here. Instructions carefully, and by the end of the day, I'll have you eating danger and cropping victory. Isn't now move your butt, soldier. I will meet you on the other side Wait. in the armory. All right. Mounted on the wall below me, you will see a PCB. This is a powered combat vest. Use it correctly and I guarantee it will save your life. Your PCB is able to recharge from battery power or it can interface and recharge with commercial, military, and HEV charging stations. What are you waiting for? Grab that PCB and get it fully charged. Trust me, maggot, you're gonna need it. I'll meet you in the next area to demonstrate some of your best capabilities. Hey, th th that one is new. That one, the HEV, isn't, so that's nice. That's firing chamber. Oh, that. What? As you can see, you are not dead. Your PCB performs the damage at the cost of some of its power. Keep your PCB charged, and your chances of survival in the field are very high. Proceed to the next area. That's some odd choice of training, like getting myself shot just to test the the, the vest. All right then. We're gonna do You're here. Gonna have to pick up the pace, dirt bag. My beloved core does not have the patience to wait around for your worthless butt. The following areas will simulate many of the environmental hazards you are likely to encounter in the field. Run through it as quickly as you can and try to avoid taking too much damage. A dead marine is a worthless marine. I will see you up ahead if you can make it through alive. All right. Flammable liquid. Okay. Kind of weird, but fine. Now this training section is very different from the original game, so I think it's interesting. Sorry, yes, sir. Oh, so fix. And where there's smoke, there's fire. You better move it, soldier. In addition to providing protection, your PCV has other capabilities. Once the light goes out, the door in front of you will open. Activate your night vision goggles to navigate this maze and exit on the other side. Now move like you've got a purpose. That's bright as fuck. It's kind of useful, actually, to start.
Is that it? Well, I'll be damned! You may just have what it takes to be a soldier! Now double time it over to the next portion of your training! Oh, yes, sir! Move it! Move it! Alright, Marcus, let's see if you can move your butt through my obstacle course! I will. On your mark! Get set! Go! 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 Run up and over those platforms! Move! 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 Duck! Now jump! Get your sorry ass moving! Go! 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 Get your ass down that hill! Scale that wall! Hurry it up! My dear sweet grandmother moves faster than you, dirtbag! Ooh. Get over that beam! I thought we were training soldiers here! Are you trying to embarrass me? What? What did I do wrong? Proceed to the next area! Come on, double time it! Move, move, move! This is my first time playing Opposing Force 2 to beat it. I, uh, I did play it before just to, to test it out a little bit, but... This is gonna be the first time. Touch ropes to attach to them, climb up. Look at the direction you wish to travel. Press the power key. This is the, the first time that I'm gonna try to beat the game, you know? When swinging on the you rope, press. Can definitely climb better than you can run. Now let's see if you can use these ropes for more than just simple climbing. Okay. Ah. Jump! Catch that rope and use your momentum to swing across that wall. This might take more coordination than you have, soldier. I want you to swing from rope to rope and meet me at the end of the course. That's kind of a weird mechanic. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Start over. Alright. That's kind of weird. I'm almost impressed, soldier. Thank Meet you. In the next section and let's see if I'm going to find some interesting gameplay change regarding the use of your squad. Yeah, I'm actually more interested to see the the correlation with the original Half-Life. The parts that I played to test the game, I noticed some... Like you got a purpose. Like when I when we were playing with Gordon and we hear on the radio that the military is being pulled off, pulled out of the, the combat area and like forget about Freeman. Uh, Today I actually play a little bit of the game and, and, and I saw the actual person, the actual military guy talking these uh the sentence on the radio and uh, I found it pretty pretty interesting. Okay, soldier, this is a live fire exercise! Oh boy. this one will give you a taste of what it's like to be in the field. Keep your head low and move between cover. I wanna see your face in the dirt, soldier! Yes, sir. Go, go, go! Climb that rope ladder! Get your ass up there! Hit the dirt, soldier! Move it! Move it! Move it! Stay low! Loud. You actually managed to make it through my favorite training exercise in one piece. That was easy. Sorry, yes, sir. I will smoke you like a Cuban cigar. Very good, soldier. Move on for your next phase of training. Sorry, yes, sir. Pistol range. Oh, best friend it is your only friend and to be more effective soldier you must master your weapon on the table you will see your standard issue sidearm pick it up and step over to the pistol range the object of this exercise is to familiarize yourself with the functions and use of your weapon the goal is for you to place six shots within the inner circle of each target you may begin Proceed to the next section.
section of the training course. All righty, that was easy. Ah, I want to keep my my firearm. Ooh, sniper range. I like some sniper. Blue shift is the only one I have beaten yet. I played a good portion of it, but nothing shiny got my attention and started to play. That is that. Uh, I like blue shift, but I I found it to be too short. I guess uh, I have the I have the vod of my last playthrough of my last stream uh, beating the game. Uh, I believe it took me two hours and thirty minutes, something like that. Not a bad game, but I probably won't be replaying that anytime soon. Uh, from what I've seen, I believe this one is a, a much better DLC. Uh, much more worth it of your money. Despite these games are being... I mean, I have no idea how much they are worth right now, but I think they can be bought very cheap off of Steam, so... This exercise will train you in the use of a long-range sniper rifle. Proceed to the table, pick up the sniper rifle, and position yourself on the firing line. In this exercise, you will be firing at targets both moving and stationary at medium, long, and extreme ranges. As you will notice, I like your sniper snipers. rifle comes equipped with a scope. Use this scope to magnify your view, making the distant targets easier to see. I like snipers a lot. You will notice three stationary targets partially concealed. Hit each of these targets to advance to the next stage of targets. Good. Now let's see how you do with simple moving targets at that range, soldier. Any time now. Now let's see if you can hit the moving targets at long range. Make sure to take your time and line up those shots, soldier. Of course I can. Not like that, I can't. Make sure to take careful aim, soldier. Patience is key for those crucial shots. Come on. Now let's see if you can do the same at okay. extreme range. Oh, those are easy. Unbelievable! You can actually shoot. I have three few scope up to the entire collection. I'll post some pictures on someday when I. I'm finished with I... you, soldier. Proceed to the next area and report to the next drill instructor. Okay, thank you. I don't have the physical copies of the original Half-Life games. I do have the orange box for the Half-Life 2 and all of its parts. Of course, today I don't use them, but because who owns a CD with, with a PC with a CD drive, right? But I have it stored somewhere for a collection's sake. Thanks, Corporal. Oh, no problem. Squad training. All right, dirtbag, you've proven yourself a capable grunt. Now let's see if there's any leadership qualities in that sorry carcass of yours. To become an effective leader, you must familiarize yourself with the skill set of each soldier in your platoon. The first type of soldier you will meet is the engineer. Engineers have a knack for getting you in and out of places that are otherwise inaccessible. Take charge and have him follow you to the sealed door. Hey. Yes, sir. Come on up. Do your thing. Stand back, Corporal. This should only take a minute. It's nice to, to have this mechanic because while playing with as Gordon and even as Barney, we see doors being opened up like that, and now you we are opening up the doors with the torches and I love it. I mean the as you can see, this soldier may prove quite useful in the field. Yes. Once you've breached the room, proceed through the door and meet the next type of soldier. I always the only PC. 
Well, I used to have one, but my my old PC died a long time ago and never bothered to replace it with another one the with uh, CD or DVD drive. On the field. They have the ability to heal both you and your fellow squad members. To receive medical attention, simply hold down your use key and the medic will apply first aid. Once the medic has attended to your wounds, proceed to the next area to complete your training. Keeping you in one piece is doing you a Thank you. Listen up, soldiers! During the course of your missions, you may not be in direct contact with your squad. In these situations, you will need to utilize any available military radios. These radios can be used to call in reinforcements or gain vital military intelligence. Nice. Approach the radio and use it, soldier! I hear you loud and clear. We'll move to your position. I like that. Oh, hello. Congratulations, soldier. You're no longer a long life maggot. I'm proud to say you are a soldier. I'm sure you'll be a credit to your unit. Now report to duty, soldier. Where? Oh, okay. It's over. Yay. Uh, and tough fix. I know we can actually buy a, an accessory to have the Blu-ray, CDs, DVDs, players for the PC, but again, it's very difficult to to actually have a PC, a CD, PC game nowadays. It's much more easier to buy it digitally. So, but I I appreciate who owns a lot of PC games on this actual physical copy for collection sake. You know, I let me just speaking of which. Speaking of a witch. I don't have a full scene for my for my uh, webcam, so I'm just gonna show it off of here. I have Diablo 2 on the, on the actual CD or DVD, whatever you want to call it. I have the Diablo 2 expansion. Very cool. I have one of the games that I've most played during my childhood and growing up, ironically. Battlefield 2 collection with all of its expansions. A lot of fun with these. I have Battlefield 1942, the classic. I know it's like mirrored, but you guys can see, can understand, right? Uh, this one, I actually never played it, but I bought it just because it's Battlefield, which is Battlefield 1945, uh, 2145, uh, the futuristic one. And like I said, I have the orange box with Half-Life, Portal, and Team Fortress. Very nice. I have a few others stored in my my drawer back there, but these are the ones that I like the most. But with... Uh, I'm done with that. Let's start with the actual game here opposing force now that i have my training now i feel prepared to face this game let's start half-life opposing force You should you should post your PC collection onto Beats Discord. I would love to see that. <laughs> no shit, man. Baby shit job my ass. This has brainy mission written all over it. Why else would they have kept our 
orders from us for so long, huh? Yeah, what the hell is that all about? Throwing our asses with this hunk of junk and not even telling us what we're going in for, man. There you have a problem, Private. I will give you your orders when we have reached the LZ. You got that, soldier? Sir, yes, sir. I don't really give a damn what we're going in for. As long as I get to kill me something. I heard that. Watch your vector, Goose 3. It's getting a little tight here. Mission classified. Ooh, that's the, the cliff sign. Yeah, I'm gonna be pissed too when I gotta search out and rescue your sorry ass. Anyone out there got a good view of the LZ yet? Yeah, got a good view of the LZ. Yeah, we're just about to get How many floppy disks are, are there to install the game? Because I know Doom has a few floppy disks, right? I mean... What is it? Five, I guess? I don't remember. Run, man! Run. Alexa, luz do quarto. 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hello? Kumar? Oh, you've woken up. Corporal Shepard, is it? Yes. I've read the tag on your uniform. I'm glad to see my life-saving efforts weren't in vain. I can't say the same for him. I'm afraid you have been through a serious accident. Most of your friends didn't make it. I was hoping that you soldiers had come to rescue us, but now it seems we are all in the same situation. I think I saw a radio near the crash site where I found you. Perhaps you can go there and radio for help? Eh, I'm actually not here to rescue you guys, but... Uh... Speaking of which, what should I do? Because we all know that the militaries are not here to rescue anyone. They are here to, on a cleanup mission. So no witnesses, no nothing. This must remain a secret. Should I have that state of mind? Like, should I stay with the, the original mission and clean up the, the area? I don't know. You tell me. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing actually, but this is as far as I go. We'll see. Hello, sir. Creatures have a unique parasitic strategy, don't you think? I don't know. Have you ever seen such a magnificent species? These crabs can completely control their host's nervous system. Can you imagine what the next stage of mutation looks like? What do you mean the next stage of mutation? Hmm. A vest. Now, I'm, now I feel prepared. Fine. You won't even know I'm here. I'm actually curious to know about the stage of mutation thingy. Hey! <laughs> run! Run for your life! <laughs> Look at that. Oh. 
so I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You, you better. Good luck, Doc. Or maybe the Doc is in better shape than I. Yeah, you do that. Glad I didn't take the janitor job. Yuck. Hey, man. Sure, I have nothing better to do. I'll just wait here. Oh, yeah, sure. We'll work better as a team. That guy's a, a funny one. Uh, he was in the, the blue ship game, wasn't he? Like, we met him uh, during the tram ride, I guess. Okay, Shepard, I see you found your power vest. That should keep you safe out there. See, now I've heard rumors that you troops may not actually be here to rescue us. Just don't forget about us out there. Alrighty? Okay, I'll let you through now. Okay, I'll let you through now. <laughs> I can't promise you anything, but... Good luck, sir. I don't know what his name. So, my reputation precedes me. He does? Don't leave me alone here. I will. The wrench. The wrench. Yeah, that one I kind of knew what I had to do. So, do me. I don't care. Hello. Okay. Look who we have here. Mr. G-Man in the flesh. Fucking with Barney. Or a Barney clone, whatever. Because we've seen that Barney don't actually see Mr. G-Man all that much. He only sees him once. Again, in the very beginning during the tram ride. Which is sad, actually. Fell down. Can I jump? Are we over there? Oh, I yeah, can't. Okay. Who the knife? I didn't like the knife. Guys, I'm back. We're not alive anymore. No, there's a radio there, but I can't reach it. I need to find a way to get rid of, get rid of the electricity. I hope it. You're dumb. Very dumb. These 
night vision is very, very bright. Ooh, I almost died there. Not them. Self a handgun. Generator control. Back to the helicopter. Hopefully, the, use the radio. This is a Magnum. It's like a Desert Eagle, huh? With a laser sight. Never seen one. Like it. Okay, so mission is to get the fuck out of here. Got some barnacles here, but uh, I don't think I need to kill them. Apparently, I do because I'm a moron. Have something here? We do. A little bit of ammunition. And that's it. Anything else? Nope. You know, I gotta tell you, I kinda hate the letter these games because it's very difficult to actually go down them without getting hurt. That time I got lucky because there was water beneath me but otherwise I would be dead. Oh my eye! My eye! Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not gonna pretend that I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen. I I do know what's gonna happen. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. This game is, this game can be very very loud. Come on. it is Mr. G-Man in the flesh he's gonna let us through because he's a good guy and he's looking after us rumor has it we were at the top top of the list during the training mission because of him why? I don't know just wait and see See you there. What a mess. Stop it. How did I miss that shot? Jesus. How does that even happen? fall down into the, the green goo. I don't know if that's gonna be instant death. But I don't wanna find out. I really don't want to find out. Hey Selfix, I don't know if you're watching but I saw your notification on Discord. I'll I'll we'll look at your collection once I finish the stream. Is this the beginning area of the Half-Life game? Sure looks like it. It sure looks like it. Oh no! Okay, thank God. Okay, so far so good. Close one. Oh, 
very close one. We have seven slots for weapons. A flop discs for King's Quest. I never played King's Quest, never. To be honest, I, I don't think I ever even heard of the game. I could be wrong though, because actually the game sounds a little bit familiar, but I might. I'm not sure which game it is. I might have to look it up on, on YouTube later on. time are we talking about? I believe early 90s maybe, but when exactly? They were the bunch of game that you might have played. What's the name of the publisher? If you tell me the name of the publisher I might know what game you're talking about. dead here because I fell down into the green goo Sierra well Sierra made I know they made the DLC for Diablo 1 And they made another... They made SWAT 3, I know that because I actually played a lot of SWAT 3 back in the day. They already made Half-Life, really? I thought it was... well... Hey, here we... a lot of information. This stream is, is also educational. I learn, you learn. Very nice, very nice. Here we save because I don't want to mess this up. We perfect. Oh, they. Oh, yes. I'm. This I'm confusing publisher and developer. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Keep your lens it's like this one, the uh, Valve, Valve published, but who, who Gearsoft was the developer, so... I could have saved... I could have saved the, the scientists, but I'm here on a cleanup mission, and I should not care about scientists or guards or whatever. The only thing I care about is my survival and get the job done. Do not, do not attempt 
to open the train has come to a complete halt at the, at the station platform. They seem to be teleporting at random. They're one of the biggest games company in the 80s. Yeah. It happens, I guess, right? Every company has its, like, golden age, I guess. First death. All right. Mmm, candy. Stupid machines. Why don't these ever seem to work? What are you doing? Hey, uh, you wouldn't have a quarter I can borrow, would you? Maybe I should guard that closet over there. Wanna follow me? I have a better chance of survival with you. You sure do. Hello. Hey, you. I think I got a rape one. Yeah, you do. Ah, uh, that's so lame that the bodies disappear. Oh, ho, ho, thank you very much. You are on I fire, my friend. You are actually using a Magnum, aren't you? A, a Desert Eagle, actually. Good for you. Come on with me. You're gonna be my... Kill it. Nice. I'd love to hang that over my fireplace. You know, if I had one. Can I go? Can't. Come on, guard. Oh, yeah, baby. Did you see that? I'm gonna, gonna be using him for as long as I can. Remember, everyone runs faster with a knife, but I'm, I don't want to run. Runs are for pussies. I'm killing... Well, I'm not killing uh, them all because my good friend Baldi here are killing everyone for me. You he, just think he's it's a, all about you. He's a, a very nice shot with that Desert Eagle. I'm almost tempted to kill him and get the Desert Eagle for myself. Although that would only get me six shots while Fighting with him, I got a lot of more. In my so. job description. Let's go. Have you seen the new IG-88? No, I haven't. But a friend of mine... Oh, what, the... what is that, Doc? I don't know. I've never seen that species before. It's okay, sir. I can take him. No! I don't want to die! Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Those poor bastards. That I don't know if you guys have have seen the movie Monster in the Closet. A very 80s B movie. Very bad. But that monster kinda looked like the monster in the closet, to be honest. And how convenient that now the door opens. Anyway. Open up the door here for me, please. Good job. Thank you. Ooh, grenades. Uh, my cousin is the one that got me this job. Good for him. See, now we have a better chance if we stay together. Can you open up that one? Oh, no. You're one of the... them. Can't we just get along? Since you're not on my in my way in any way, I'm gonna let you live for now. And I don't want my friend Bowdy here to be mad at me because he has a freaking magnum and would kill me in one shot, so Oh That's right, 
I got another one. You sure did. Come on. You want to me. For example, Walker is in that movie. Which movie? Oh, the, the monster in the closet. Fergie, I remember. She's the, the little kid in one of the scenes. But Paul Walker? That's a, a new to me. And I, I got freaking stuck. I got freaking stuck here. Unbelievable. Can I kill myself? Oh, I actually got... I actually flew quite high. Ah, oh, I'm here? You have to be kind of kidding me. And that's lame. Mmm, candy. Stupid machines? Why don't these ever seem to work? There you go. Are you following me? All right, let's go. Should have saved the game. I'm gonna to save the game. Over my fireplace. You know, if I had one. Oh, Damn, you're way too close for comfort. Your aim is kind of bad, isn't it? Holy shit. You just think it's all about you. What else happened in the beginning of a place where you forgot the quick save, but yeah, it's not that I forgot about the, save, the quick save. Is that during my Half-Life playthrough, I, I feel like kind of... I kind of use it I I a lot one. to the point where it might seem like no, I haven't. unfair. So I'm trying not to use it as die? much I during this time, I've during this playthrough. It's okay, sir. I can take him. I got hit pretty hard. Oh. Let me take no, a, a screenshot here. That is definitely the monster in the closet. Poor bastards. That is definitely the monster in the closet. I don't care what anybody says. Please open that up for me. Oh no. I don't want to die a virgin. You're one of the Okay, them. now see. <laughs> Can't we that just one's going get to slow along? Me down. Yeah. Ow. So, do you guys train for alien combat, or no. it's just a special occasion? You can yourself sometimes. Okay, then. I'm not gonna say anything. That's right. I got another one. You sure did. Okay. Follow me, please. I don't die alone. You're not gonna follow me, aren't you? Come on. Here. Well, I don't think this is gonna follow me any longer, so. Insane. Stop attacking immediately. I'm here to do a job. That might seem a little bit brutal, but that's what the military does in this game. They kill. There's a part in the original Half-Life that is very similar to this. It doesn't open? 
I guess not. Oh, here's my escape. Thank God. I'm free. And some help. Thank God. Come here, Cooper. Do you copy? Forget about Freeman. We're abandoning the base. If you have any last bomb targets, mark them on the tactical map. Otherwise, get the hell out of there. Repeat. We are pulling out and commencing airstrikes. Give us targets or get below. Oh, here's the the guy who said it. Shepard, you've made it. Yeah. I take it you didn't find Freeman? I didn't. Forget it, Corporal. We are pulling out. The airstrike has started. Get to the hangar while we await evac. Sir, yes, sir. I said, get to the hangar, Shepard. That is an order. All right. That's locked. Where's Freeman? We don't have time to mess around here. You've got to believe me. Freeman could be anywhere. I'm not letting ah. you go until you talk. This is my post, sir. What happened if I... Watch your fire! Friendly fire! Friendly fire! Well, I seem to be seriously wounded. Talk to me. I'm trying to disturb your sternal son, but I found your... your monster. I'll I'll check it on the on Discord after the stream, so they're not disturbing anything, don't worry. Everything's fine. I'm not gonna kill my, my friend there. Hello Regin, how are you? Yeah, I can come here apparently. Aha. Well, oh. I seem to be seriously wounded. I feel you. No, okay. No problem. Well, I noticed that now, Roger. A lot of flammable stuff here. Okay. No! What an asshole. There goes my right. Does it actually do something? I don't know. Missing in action.
Oh, there you go. Found it. Found it. I, th I think I fucked up. Can I? I can't. Shit. Ah, lame. Fuck. Health, nice. Except some health. Thank you. Let me save the game because I don't want to deal with electricity right now. Ah, I know those ones are gonna fall. I kinda know those ones are gonna fall. Ooh, it's, everything is shaky. Don't like it. You're supposed to go there. To go where? Where I fall down or go forward into the vent? Because right now I there's no going back I guess. I believe that there was gonna be an area with supplies maybe. So nothing that would soft lock me. But I could get some supplies. That would be useful actually. Oh, it's so late now. Too late now. Can I make that jump? If I can actually jump. I mean. Ooh, I can. Nice. Oh, well, well. I came here just for the, oh they came there for the rockets that's fair enough I like it that stuff uh, that's nerve-wracking Jesus Wait for my PS5 copy of Quake 2, but so far I'm not really enjoying Asylum. Do you know how far into the game are you in, in, on Asylum? There you go. There's something there. Doubt it. Okay. Ooh. Ouch! The fuck is that? What the hell is this? It looks like the the monster in the closet. 
Holy shit! I don't like it. I'm gonna say, yeah, the saves coming begins again. Don't judge me. Do not judge me, please. Thank God for the Magnum. I love the Magnum. It's not the Magnum, it's the Desert Eagle, but you guys understand. What is this? Judge my exp with by my experience with blue shift. Let me push this one up there. Up there. If I can. Nicely done, Shimi. Nicely done. Hey, this place is full of explosives, right? Where can I stand? to survive. These I cannot move. I, I doubt I can... I cannot use this to boost me up there, can I? About service, I've been playing for 20 hours. I don't miss it. Yeah, that's the point of Metroidvanias, and that's the why I, I like them. Although, curious enough, I don't actually play a lot of them mainly because of how long they they take to beat, you know. Yeah, I cannot do that. But I actually want to start playing some Metroidvanias in the very near future. Uh, starting with the OG one, Symphony of the Night. Let me try that. Well, I did something, but now I noticed something different. Um, but I need uh, the explosives there to cause the chain reaction, okay. Because I was wondering, how can I destroy this one? Can I blow that up with 
regular shooting? No. How about with the explosive? Nope. Well, whatever. What's going on down there? What the hell's going on down there? Bye bye. It's very dark. This is someone down there. Is it a friend? Ooh, hello. Are you okay? Got to get out of here. Listen to me, Shepard. Those things, they'll kill all of us. <sighs> what happened, dude? Who killed you? Damn it. I thought it would be, I was going to be able to save him. But nope. Nope. Where are my platoons? X and Verge 1 is God seared. I actually have X, X and Verge. I played just 5 minutes of it maybe. Uh, I might be... Yeah, you said Super Metroid is the best one in your opinion. I might be controversial here, but I don't actually like Metroid all that much, so I would say X and Verge is a better version of Super Metroid, but take that with a grain of salt because I never actually completed any Metroid, never actually gave much attention to the game. It's just that every time I played it, I felt a little meh, you know? I need some milk. Give him some milk. I don't know. I know this area, although it looks a little bit different because. Oh no, that's a totally different area. Okay. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We all have different tastes. But you know how people on the internet are, right? If you disagree with them, they take it personally, you know, like, it's like you're personally assaulting them, so... What's that? How's that? I speedrun Super Metroid used to play it. You should do a stream someday of, of you speedrunning the game. That would be awesome. Some time ago, I actually did a stream where I said that I don't enjoy speedruns, but I actually didn't uh, didn't say it correctly. I I enjoy speedruns. I enjoy watching them. I just don't like to play anything with a time restraint. 
So let's say we have to do something in the game within a certain time limit. I hate that kind of mechanic, so I don't like it. And that that is some sort of a, a speedrun in a in a way. So I hate that kind of mechanic in games. However, I do enjoy to watch people speedrun games, especially games that I that I'm currently playing. So I can actually compare how I play the game to what an actual speedrunner would complete that part of the game. It's kind of interesting to to analyze, you know. Oh no. What are these creatures? Ouch! That's... What an asshole. Ooh, mines. I actually didn't use a lot of mines during my Half-Life playthrough, which is a shame. I remember back in the day, I, I actually used them quite a lot. But honestly, I didn't find any proper area to use them. Perhaps I could use one here just to show off, you know. Eh. Just say, oh. Yes, please. Worse, you soldiers under orders to silence the facility or these vile aliens. Am I going to the right place? I don't know. Sure hope so. The game kind of weird at a, at a few moments. Don't know why. Of course, that's locked. Come on, Shepard. That just water. It's not soap. It's not. It shouldn't be like these slippery. You you are wearing boots for crying out loud. I mean, I hope you're wearing boots. Being a military and all, you know. Oh, the rope mechanic. I got it, I got it. Let's see if I can remember how to use the rope. Because it's a, a little bit weird. I'm gonna lie, it's not the greatest mechanic in the world.
Ooh. Okay, that was nice. May I drop down safely? Oh no, Otis. Can I can. Get water. that was gonna happen. What's going on? just a secret or my game is weird I don't know what's going on hello all that just for oh fuck you what if I go here eh. not gonna Speedrunner, no. They're not playing that game with the person passing the Oh! You are already a better speedrunner than I am, so... There you go! I think... Well, I might be the wrong person to say this, because, like I said, I, I don't enjoy speedrunning. To do speedrunning all that much. But, as long as you are having fun and trying to improve your personal best, I think that's a, a good thing. You don't need to be competing for world records or stuff like that, you know? What do I do now? Oh, I think I, I got it. That wasn't very clever on my part, I know that. You should watch the crazy speedrun on Half-Life 1 that they showed the developers. I didn't watch that one, but I did watch some... There was a channel called Tomato Anus and he kinda explained the, the speedrun of Half-Life so I watched that one and I watched the, the original footage I liked it, I liked it actually and I actually like to watch speedruns that does not use glitches or uh, major glitches, you know. I like to actually see the game being completed fully without skipping anything, you know. Here we are. Oh. 
for a scientist. Poor scientist. Let's see if I can, uh, I can push this box towards that hole. There you go. When all the fighting started, I hid myself here. I don't think any of them above have survived. They didn't. This area. The current situation is looking pretty grim. The containment man. system is completely dead. Area secure. You want to stay there? Okay, check in. Okay, I think my friends are here. No. Well, they may be, but I can't go inside. Holy shit. Hey, sir. Hello, sir. Looks like somebody really screwed up, Corporal. Seems the brass bit off more than they could chew. Yeah, well, forget about Freeman. We've got to save our own asses. You with us, Corporal? I am. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, roger that. Government cover-ups were not in my job description. Yeah, Go you're on, quiet affirmative, now. sir. You're the engineer, right? So, open this shit up right now. That's why I like Super Metroid. If you're skilled with the wall jump and use of certain abilities, you can have problems. Stand for back, Corporal. This will take a minute. I once watched the speedrun of regular Metroid, the original one, and I found it confusing as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. It kind of threw me off a little bit. You. Just when I was getting let's get the hell out of here. Come on. Come on. What you waiting for? I will not fail you, sir. I'll stay here and await further orders. At your command, sir. Come on. Come over here, you son of a bitch. Duty, uh. I got your six. Do you know? Ah, fuck off. Whatever. Man, if we make it out of here alive, I'm gonna buy you all a round of beers. Hell, I'll buy the whole damn bar. Uh, but I think it's it's kind of early. I was gonna end the stream here, but kind of early. Although, actually, it's not that that early for me. Job 
I'll have you through here in no time. <laughs> A lot of enemies here. S Stone. S Jones, okay. Reardon. Oh look at that. The the prototype of the, the face gun, I guess. Fuck. Yo, you're still alive? Oh, you you open up this one, okay. Let me save because. I got a bad feeling about this mission. Why though? Everything's so fine and dandy. Moving out, Corporal. Come on, follow me. Okay, you do your thing. I'm gonna explore this area. Oh no! Oh no! That came out of nowhere. What you waiting for, dude? Jesus Christ. Hello. Why would you look at that? Employee of the month. Morgan Freeman himself. Three minutes for PC with all the levels in the first. If you want an FPS, there is also sort of a metro event and you play Power Slave. Fuck, isn't. The name is not strange. Although I might be confusing with the Iron Maiden song, but. I'll try to look up somewhere more about this game. Uh, they are made for PC without levels for the same version of the on the On a bigger game. I might have to look it up. Okay, 
Okay, this one might be a little bit tough. A little bit tough. Okay, I took a little bit of damage, but I think it was an okay attempt, maybe. Could have been better. Could have been definitely better. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh. You know what it means when the game suddenly gives you a lot of supplies, don't you? It's hardly anything good. Mayday, Mayday, anyone copy? This is Tango Charlie 409 and we are under attack. Repeat, flag operators have entered the base and have opened fire on us. Request backup immediately. Over. See what I can do. See what I can do. I'm gonna make some food now. Keep the stream on. Thanks for the lurking, my friend. I appreciate it. Hey, Shepherd, man. What the hell were you doing down there? Listen, we need to get our asses down to the extraction point near Lambda Sector. With any luck, we'll even get a shot at Freeman on our way out. Now, this transit system should take us there, but the door is sealed up pretty tight. Jeez, where's an engineer when you need one? Yeah. It might sting a bit. Give me help. Thank you. All right, you scout ahead. Ah. Fuck off. Oh no. Hold that for nothing. Well, I assume this is the right way to go. Have to clean up a mess the grunts can't handle. Tell me about it. I just want to deliver the package and get out of here. Yeah, sooner or later the grunts are gonna figure it out. Fuck. Not great, but not bad either. And yes, I might have cheated a little bit with the safe safe scanning. I don't care. Open the door for you. Come here. Recon team, check in. Right away, sir. Come here, come here. Follow me. Follow me, follow me, there's a wounded guy here. Help him. Don't worry, man, help's on the way. Man, if don't worry, sir. All that up in no time. There you go. Awesome. Check 
your zone. Thank God. <laughs> Do more damage that way. Not a, uh, no. I thought only one of them would follow me, but nope. Oh, guys. I got a bad feeling about this mission. Help me too, but uh, what can we do, right? What can we do? I got a bad feeling about this mission. Who needs a locksmith? Uh, Shepard. Right down. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay. God damn it. That was not nice. Really? Corporal, what the hell is going on here? Nobody told us about black operations in the mission briefing. I mean, we're all on the same team, right? Right? Well, I'm not sure what their mission is, but we need to keep moving. There's got to be a transit car somewhere on these tracks. Yeah. The current situation is looking pretty grim. Squad, quiet down. The current situation is looking pretty grim. Lane. That's very lame. Uh, Rod a lot of health and that's fine Boy, you okay is everyone alive This area is kind of familiar to me right now. Believe it or not. It was a massacre, dude. Come on.
Show yourself again. Asshole. Fuck that up real good. I fucked that up real good. That's fine. I go backwards with this. As I can. Is this the right thing to do? No. Oh, Okay. Oh, I'm taking damage there. We are not alone. It's ready. You must go now. Freema. Oh yeah. Holy shit. That was Freema, wasn't it? So technically we are pretty close to the end of the game. Come in with you, Freeman! Oh no wait, I'm not. I'm not coming to with you, Freeman. Holy shoot. There's no 
found a portal. Over there. Woo, okay. I think I need to go there. Oh. Bloody hell was that? Black Mesa. Okay. I almost didn't make that one. there I'm, like, ah, I'm dead <laughs> shoot oh no oh boy there come on reach But I'm told that this gun teleports you to random places. Let me check. These pipes, you'll have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of that and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in midair, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comfortable. What am I supposed to do here then? I'm glad I saved. I think I can go there. Ah, I missed. Fuck off. Crush that. Okay. So this laboratory. I'm afraid I have trapped myself here. To escape those beasts. Will you be so kind as to operate that transporter? Did that work? How did you do that? Any secured area in this lab. Thank God. Would you like to need some blood samples on I 
hope those people in the Lambda Lab can get this under control. Uh, but that is something I'm gonna do next time because, uh, yeah, it's getting pretty late here for me. Tomorrow I have a lot of work to be done. So that's gonna be it for today's live stream, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, I hope you have enjoyed my brief, my somewhat brief uh, experience with opposing force. Probably next stream it's gonna be the end of the the game. I don't know how far, how close we are, but uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. I surely did. Uh, it's way better than Blue Shift, in my opinion, at least so far. And uh, I hope you have a great day. If you're watching this on the man, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all next time. Have a good one. And as always, take care. Let me change there. And there you go. Take care.